Right then, good morning people. Sunday morning. Beautiful morning, nice and sunny. Bit chilly. It's about about three degrees at the minute. But not too bad. Uh, nothing special planned for today. Just me and Steve are gonna meet up, head into Stairport to go and have a coffee by the riverside, so we're not doing any drone footage today. We're just gonna have an easy ride. And today I've got my race gloves on, but I've not put my little woody gloves underneath it. And there's a reason for that. Because I followed what Goose did, and I've got myself some Oxford heated grips. So, you know I like my thin gloves, I don't like the padded ones, so let's see how these babies work out. So... Anyhow, I'm going to go and get some fuel, and while I'm getting fuel, let's go back to yesterday, where you could see the Oxford grips being fitted, um, I'll tell you about the phones being fixed, and you could also meet Jax the Cat. So, you watch yesterday's, I'll get some fuel, I'll see you in a bit. Bye for now. Right, as you can see, it's a bit windy today, so we're not going out today. What we're doing instead, off my dirty gill, from her last trip out, oh, she needs a wash. We are going to be fitting some Oxford heated grips. Goose fitted is, and I thought, yep, I've got to be done. I've got to get some, so I'm going to get the seat off, going to get the tank off, get the bar ends off, get the grips off and then just wait for the Amazon driver to deliver my grips. So if I can get these on today, the plan is I want to go out tomorrow morning. I think my shed's going to fall down at this rate with the wind. So we're going to make a start and that's what she looks like now and this is what she looks like now. There we go. We are stripped down. Tanks off. Grips are off. We're ready to go. Look at how dirty that is. Goose, you got to do some magic on this, I'm telling you. I can't believe you've neglected me in all this time. Your bike sits there showing eh? And my 24 year old girl. He's just being abused by your lack of commitment. Waiting for the Amazon man, the Amazon man, the Amazon man. No, he's not been. Where's the Amazon man? Can you tell me? Mm. Where is he? I don't know. Is he messing me about? Him? What will I do to him if he keeps messing me about? Boxing. On the. On the nose. On the nose. Also, on another note from the last tour, where the phone had died, I got the phone back today from Apple. So it's all being repaired. And there was something they showed me I didn't know. I did the online chat with them, and my battery was faulty. So they said... Go to settings, go to battery, and if you click on battery health, my battery's maximum capacity is 100%. Now, when they did the test on mine, I believe the first test showed 88%, and I think the second test showed 79%. And what Apple told me was, I went into the Apple store in Birmingham, if the battery is showing 85% or below, that is signs that the battery is failing to hold its maximum capacity. And they said what will happen then is, as you're using the phone, the battery power, the percentage at the top, drops 
quite rapidly and mine was i was like 100 percent. i was dropping to 60 dropping to 20 then down to one it was like quite quite bad on mine but they said yeah 85 percent and below is signs the battery is failing uh mine was under warranty as the phone is not a year old yet but they did say if you need your battery doing it's 45 pounds and they can do it within the hour and that's not a bad price to be honest um i could have done the battery myself i think you pick a battery up for about nine pounds something like that but you have to remove the screen 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 you have to remove the screen and there's a good chance you normally crack the screen removing the screen on iphones and as i said yes you can buy a cheap screen for 12 pound off amazon ebay but they're never the same and every screen i've replaced on an iphone it seems okay for a few weeks and then the quality just degrades and it's rubbish so get apple to do it if they break the screen they replace the screen so there you go one fixed battery ready for tour and we're still waiting for this amazon man look the bike sitting up there my tanks sitting on the garden chair waiting to go back on amazon come on come on amazon even the cat's bored waiting for amazon ajax always tired this is always on board waiting for amazon say hello to everybody on youtube give them a high five ah five right then the grips have arrived let's have a look destructions now what I need to check is the controller that when this is fitted do I fell the fairing when I turn so we're gonna have to have a we're gonna have to try that right. let's see how these right get the mic up straight what they don't fit my bars why don't they fit my bars that is probably because I had the wrong one you donkey I thought that I thought that's a bit big but that's the throttle side fit now I suppose this is the bit you've got to get right that when you turn accelerator so that's me when I'm doing 250 miles an hour yeah, I wish do they need to be like that so I've got to make sure I don't fell the brake lever I think I'll be good with that. I think I will be good. Right, grips are on. Didn't take long. Nice and easy. Well, I've got them on. That bit's nice. That bit, the controller, fits just perfect. Off my clutch and it misses the fairing. It doesn't hit the fairing when we turn. So we are on. We've rooted the wiring. That can all stay in there. So I'll be the tank will be over that. Run the wiring down here. We will go underneath to the battery. And we've got some power. There we go. They are fitted. I would say fitting them took about 20 minutes most it's quite easy 
Uh, that doesn't include taking the tank off and the seat off. That add an extra five ten minutes for that. So I'll say you're looking you're looking just over 30, 35 40 minutes to fit some heated grips. Oh we're gonna try them out in the morning. Right, I gotta go now. Gotta go in the shower. I'm going out tonight. So for now peeps, I'll see you in the morning. Right then. So you've just saw the footage of me fitting the grips. I can't believe how easy they was to install actually, but then again, I suppose there's nothing too technical with them. Didn't need to follow the instructions, which was a good job because they were in German. But Goose says, yeah, I had his video to rely on, so <laughs> yeah. So we're now going to try them. So, because um, I was that, in that much short time yesterday, I was going out with a meal. No, not going out with a meal. I was going out for a meal with the wife. So basically I had to fit them and then get myself in the shower. So I don't even know how they work. So anyhow, now I'm going to do it. Right, I'm going to put them all the way up to 100%. So we can see how what they get. Right then. And I'll let you know as soon as I can feel them getting warm so we can, we can see how long it is. Right, let's go and meet Steve. Let's try a bit of radio. Well, I can feel them starting to get warm already. The 100%, oh, it feels funny. Oh, it feels funny. I'm not used to it. I'm used to not feeling my fingers. Oh, I'm getting warm. Wow. I mean, what have I just done then? I don't think I've even done quarter of a mile. And I can feel it already. That is amazing. Oh, best thing ever invented. Oh no, you're going on about now, Goose. When we went to Shropshire, you just kept going on about them. Oh, that is brilliant. And they ain't even fully warm yet. Ah, oh, the answer to all my prayers. Oxford, thank you very much for saving my fingers. Right then, now we know they work. I'll, I'll let you know when they're too hot. And I've got to start turning them down. Uh, went out last night for a meal uh, to a place called Fogo. F-O-G-O. Um, I'll put a link up or a link down below if they've got one, if I find one. Um, a friend of the wife says, oh, my brother in laws open this restaurant. Do all kinds of Mediterranean food. You should go and try it out. So we were already booked into an Italian. We cancelled that. I booked into Fogo. Wow, the food, it was butola. It was amazing food. I mean, this place was small. They had seven tables in there. And I think, I think you find me places like this, little family run restaurants. You go, I think they go that extra mile and it was unbelievable. I mean, the, the chef that was telling us, um, he won't have a freezer. Um, because it won't buy any produce or cook anything can freeze it. It will only use fresh ingredients on the day. Which that's got to be, um, I'd imagine, an expensive one. Whoa, these grips are hot. Holy Lord. Oh, sorry about that. Um, so, yeah. The food, oh my God, it was unbelievable. I had to start with um, this bruschetta bread, cherry tomatoes on. And it was raw garlic. Oh Lord. Oh, Steve, when I met up with you mate, apologies because I am not responsible for my breath this morning. It is bad. Because at first I was eating these cherry tomatoes on this bruschetta and I thought, oh. I said to the wife, I'm getting a funny sensation. It feels like, like there's chilli on these, something's burning my lips. But it wasn't like a chilli burning sensation. And the wife says, no that's not chilli. He said, that's raw garlic. I mean, there was that much of it on it, as I said, it was burning my lips, but 
man it was good so if you're ever in the Birmingham area Hadley Road check out those Fogo they said I'll try and find a link for them um, definitely worth going there amazing amazing food one of the best meals I've probably had I was very impressed with it and then actually from there uh, my dad came in to watch the kids so I said you know let's go and have a few drinks so we went to the Peaky Blinders my crowbar by us the Saddlers and and next to the Saddlers I mean it's been there for some years I've gone past it probably for the last 15 years there's a pizza place called Santino's and this ain't no normal pizza place this is this is Universal Studios Disney World pizza place so if you just watch this video now, this was me outside last night. Only in Birmingham. You only get that in Birmingham. So as you can see, there's some smoke machine going on in a window and I thought this ain't no normal pizza place. The wife had just gone into the bar then, I said I'm going to have to go around. I'm going to have to go inside and have a look. So I went in there and jeez man was that a pizza i said to the guy do you mind if i take a video and he says now nah, feel free everybody does so this is the footage inside the pizza joint Have you ever seen a pizza joint like that? Terminator Island. I mean, the guy's got, I think it was an helicopter pod in there. Serious, so. Oh. If you want, if you're ever in Birmingham, guys, and you're down Agley Road West, go and find Centino's Pizza. I mean, have a pizza and get your picture took in there. It's amazing. Right then. These grips now, they're starting to burn my hands, that are hot. So they're obviously doing the job. They are unbelievable. I've still got them 100%, but I'm getting to the point now where I'm having to um, kind of put my hands on, put my hands off, because I'm getting quite hot. So I'm going to keep leaving them till they're too hot, and then see where I need to turn them down. From what I've seen, a lot of people seem to have them. I think about the 40% as the comfortable mark, so we'll see. But I'll tell you what, uh, I'm amazed. I mean, obviously on an old fireblower, you don't get all this, this technology. I have to keep bolting all this stuff on. I mean, obviously, just checking my battery. Yeah, my battery's still on 13 and a half volts. Obviously, that's because the engine's running, so they're doing quite good. But it has Matt says when, I mean, he's got a 2016 Tracer 900 whenever he looks at mine, my clocks and that and all the gadgets he says mine looks like the DeLorean from Back to the Future but right okay I'm going to meet Steve I'll speak to you when we get there happy Sunday everyone Nice bright morning this morning. Riding out to meet Craig and then we're going for a uh, coffee in Stourport. I think he just wants any excuse to test out his uh, heated grips that he fitted yesterday. But he ain't going to need him today, it's uh, nice, nice and warm. Car boot sale. Someone can't be bothered to pay. Lazy bubba. A bit too early this morning. It is half eight, but uh, late night last night. Daughter had a sleepover, so the house was full of screaming pre-teenage girls who haven't got a volume control and think it's okay to drop cake everywhere. Animals. Craig and our normal spot in uh, 
west Hackney. At the petrol station. It's the Mecca. Yeah, still working on this. It's the canal down there. They've had to uh, shore up the side of the road because it was falling in the canal. A good job of it, though. People out in the cars, I tell you what, this is uh, a spoil Sunday riding. People out in cars, people going shopping. I think they should ban Sunday shopping. And just leave the roads for us bikers and cyclists. I let cyclists go on there, ban everything else cars, lorries, the lot. Oh, what time in? Fuel lights come on just as we get here. Perfect. Not sure of a crate here yet. We're going to fill up with fuel anyway. Lovely, thank you very much. Cheerio. Thank you. Right. Phone, yeah, what's it? I can tell me, phone. What does phone mean? I wonder if it's Craig ringing to tell me that his bike won't start. Oh, he is here. You right. Were you just ringing me? Yeah. Me phone. Me. It's going phone. I don't know what. Is it? Press any button and I'll answer it. Oh, so someone must have been ringing me. No, definitely what, mate. Yeah, just press any button and ring. Uh, answer it. It's doing random stuff. It's just gone onto the radio. Bizarre. I wonder if you've got voice activation on. Yeah, but I can't hear anything. I'll have a look on my phone. Oh, grips. Oh. Yeah, it's not cold anyway. <laughs> oh, it, 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 it's hearing my voice commands. It's going music on. I haven't got any music on at the moment anyway. Yeah, in the app, you can switch off voice commands. Yeah. Right, finally, we'll try and get away. Right, is your is your camera on? Yeah, mine's on, I think. Yep, you're on. Right. I'm going to put my heated grips on again. I'm going to have them on 50%. <laughs> I'll put them on 100 and I thought, it's burning my fingers. Yeah, that's the only problem. Have you got thin gloves or normal gloves? Oh, winter gloves. These are oh, thin. Big gloves, yeah. Right, should we do it? Let's go for it. Have you tried your sun visor yet in there? No, I'm going to do it in a bit though, because it's bright. Right, let's try it out. She's letting us out, good girl. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh yeah, that's quite nice with the sun visor. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, my hands are lovely and warm now. Oh, <laughs> these are no, good. I'll put mine on as well. I think I need to adjust the visor on this orbit. 
What, what the I can internal feel like, one? No, the main one. I can feel like a little jet of air. Yeah. Blowing across like my cheeks. So I don't think the voice is sealing properly. Yeah, you don't want a whiff of air across your cheeks. Uh, I mean, it'd be ideal in the summer. Oh, but yeah. The minute, uh, it's cold air. I'll tell you what, it's a clear view, isn't it, today? You what, sorry? It's a nice clear view. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, normally you get a bit of haze in the morning, but that's, that's crystal clear, that is. I think... I think I've put my petrol tank on too tight against the rubbers. Put your what, sorry? When I put the fuel tank back on yesterday, yeah. after doing it, I think I've, I think I've squashed the rubbers too tight because I'm getting vibration on my nuts through the tank. <laughs> so I think I've run the dog too tight with it. Yeah. Well, that's still here. I'm surprised so there's any grass left. I wonder where they go in the winter. Because they always come on this same spot here. Yeah. They probably, probably stick everything away and go to Grand Canaria. <laughs> They'll probably go back to the six-bedroom house, don't they? Yeah, <laughs> in the winter. Yeah. <laughs> right, that's it. We've had enough of camping. Back in the house. See, that's just turned into a campsite as well. That field. Oh, is it? Yeah. You only ever see like about two caravans on there a year though. Yeah. Know. It's a bit exposed though, isn't it, as well there? It is a bit, yeah. Well, saying that, down at Worcester's like, well, it's not exposed, but there's the risk of uh, severe yeah. flooding, isn't there? Oh. What a place to break down. Oh yeah, I've definitely got a vibration through the tank. I think I've squashed the rubber down here by the seat too much. Yeah. I'll have to sit back a bit. It's giving me sensations. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a bad thing. Uh. Oh yeah, they the, I mean, boy, now my fingertips would be like stinging with pain. Oh uh, yeah, because you've got nothing to cover yeah, yours. No, yeah, no shield. I've got these hand guards. They do a good job of keeping the wind off. I've just turned mine down. Have you put as yours wired into um, the ignition or are they permanently on? No, they're, they're permanently on, but it's got a built-in. It senses when the engine's not running. It picks up like the battery voltage drop. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then, and then it'll automatically cut them out. Oh, that's right. Yeah. And it also picks up, say, even if you're riding and your battery's got a problem, they automatically switch off. Yeah. So it don't damage the battery. Cool, cool. Yeah, I had to, uh, mine weren't Oxford ones, they were um, Doctor something or other, I think, Doctor Bike or something. And they were just on a permanent and on, so you just have to remember to turn them off. Yeah. Well, I can look, I keep checking me, me voltage meter, and I'm still on 13.7 volts, so. Ah, uh, it's fine as yeah. long as it's charging at that. Yeah. I said, it? as long as the engine's running, it's. Yeah, I was looking at them volt meters yesterday, actually, I think I might get one for this. I remember we walked through here when we went um, fishing, uh, camping, fishing. I don't even do s fishing. It's At least closed, isn't it? I'm pretty sure it opens. Does it? On the site, it says ten o'clock. There's a light on inside. Just good, good early on town, man. Because there's one here, but I don't know if it's. Over there, it's a barge. Or it's yeah. Bottom. I think that might just be. So the river's oh, shifting, we, isn't it? Yeah, we came down. Oh, bloody is, isn't it? We came yeah, down here. Oh, we stopped outside this pub, didn't we? When we were yeah. um, went for a bike ride. Yeah, these don't open at all. So that's yeah, true. Yeah. Yeah, so it's popped up, isn't it, that river? It is, isn't it? It's shifting at some speed as well, isn't it? Yeah, you wouldn't want to fall in there. So I wonder if there's 
these are, I don't know. Well, there's lights on in there, aren't there? Yeah. There's nothing in the windows, is there? Nah. They said the lights all the time, is it now? Coming up for, um... Oh, excuse me. Quarter to ten. <laughs> oh yeah, there's somebody in there. Is there? I'm just, I'm just opening up. Ready? Yeah, yeah, go for it. Traffic on a Sunday. Oh, I've got a bit of a bit of bewitched on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> bewitched? Is it bewitched? Is it or? Yeah, no, I think it is actually, yeah. There's some like girl group in yeah. the 90s or something. Then they got like a big forehead. Yeah. It was like aliens. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think it is, isn't it? Bewitched. Did he have a neck? <laughs> <laughs> is it Gladstone Small? <laughs> Must have been dropped on his head, about me? Yeah. Yeah, there's a few spots of rain, isn't there? Yeah, I'm hoping we beat it back. Here it comes. Yeah, nasty. At, at least it might wash the boats. <laughs> yeah. God knows what I'm listening to. It sounds like some dance music. What radio has it picked up? I think mine's picked up Radio 1. No, I think it's picked up some, like, sample music that's on the phone. Ah. Uh. I need to, um, copy some music to it, really. I, ne I very rarely use it as a, um, you know, like a music yeah. device, anyway. No, I think I'll go back through Churchill, I think, yeah. and get on the, um, Starbridge Road or the Kidderminster Road. Oh, you could just cut across the petrol station, can't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right, I'll see you. Oh, okay. um, see you next week. Yeah, yeah, we'll see what happens next week. All right, All speak right, to you later. Catch you later. Cheers, buddy. Bye. Right, let's see if I can beat the rain home. Well, I've just had a nice little breakfast, sausage sandwich and a coffee with Steve. Weather's took a bit of a turn for the worst. But it is looking clearer behind us, so... And the thing is, though, is where that dark cloud is, is where I'm heading. So I think I'm driving right into it. I think I might try and get the bike washed today, but yes. Conclusion, people. Oxford heated grips are what they say on the tin. They do the job. My hands are lovely and warm. It's just what I needed. Oh, 
I should have done a max wrist. I should have done a max wrist. <laughs> um, max wrist Craig and Lamborghini. Oh, very good would that be? So we try you. Let's see how this pans out. Oh, come on, Craig. Do your max wrist. Pop a wheelie. Pop a wheelie. Oh, Craig, you should pop a wheelie past the Lamborghini. As if I can do a wheelie. <laughs> Near me. They don't see me, but they hear me. They don't feel me, but they fear me. I'm ill. Well, a nice muted grips are melting it. Just get yourself home in one piece. Hi up. I can't even believe it. I can't believe it. The only thing is with this aisle. I've never rode the bike before in hail. Does it make the road slippy? I don't know. Well, I'm not prepared, but take the chance. And I'll bet you that the Asda van's parked on me grass. And when he pulls off, he'll churn it up. Look, yep, he has done. And I'll do it every Sunday morning, has that? Yeah, so you watch as he pulls off that, he'll churn all my grass up. We're steaming a bit. <laughs> Look at it, it's caked on. That needs a good wash, that does. Oh, that needs a good wash. Alright then people, we're now on the 200 subscribers mark, let's see if we can get ourselves on the way to that 1000 mark. So until next week, bye, bye, bye.